it's Michaela from Team Retro, where we like retro games, we like roguelikes, and we like the devices that bring them to us. Now, in my last video, we used the seed miner method in order to install custom firmware on this 2DS, and I walked you through from stock to custom firmware, and a helpful person named Nintendmike.3DSX from the Retro Handhelds Discord brought to my attention that I did leave out a small part of the tutorial that removes the Japanese version of Flipnote with the boot nine strap hack and restores Nintendo DS wireless communications. Now on its own, if you're never going into Nintendo DS communications again, this isn't a big deal. However, if you do decide to go back into Nintendo DS communications and you do end up running that Japanese version of Flipnote, it could bring you back into the B9S installer. And if you try to install Boot 9 Strap again, it could potentially brick your system. Now, this is a long shot because you'd have to go into Flipnote. You'd have to push all those buttons again in the order that I showed you in my last video. And you would have to commit to installing Boot 9 Strap. So, not many people are going to do this, but just to make sure that it's not an issue, I do want to make this video and just kind of walk you through how to restore that functionality. It's not going to be long and it's only going to take you a couple of minutes, but. If you followed my last guide, you really should take a minute and just run through these settings. We're going to cover two different ways to do this. One with the Fred tool files, but we're also going to cover another method just in case you accidentally deleted the Fred tool files after installing custom firmware. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get started. So you want to power off your system and you want to plug the SD card into your computer. And let's navigate through the Nintendo 3DS folder until you get to the Nintendo DSiWare folder where you have that bin file we put in there earlier. Now go into the Fred Tool zip file and go to the Clean folder. And you notice you're going to find a file with the same name. Go ahead and copy and paste it right into the SD card, replacing the bin file. Then go ahead and eject your SD card and plug it into the 2DS and power it on. Now let's go into our system settings on the 2DS itself. And we're going to go into data management, DSiWare, and SD card. Go ahead and select Nintendo DSi and click copy. It's going to ask you if it's OK. Go ahead and click OK. And that's it. Once the 2DS copies the data to the system memory, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. Now, if you're like me and you deleted the Fred Tool zip, that's OK. We can still use FBI to restore our DS communications. We're going to do that by going down to Titles. Now, if you install Titles to your SD card, it's going to literally give you everything. So let's go ahead and click Select and then hit A on Show SD until it's red. This will hide all the titles on the SD card and will make it easier to find what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and scroll down until we find a purple app titled Simple. And you're probably going to have to scroll down past a whole bunch of numbers. Just keep going until you find all the purple apps at the bottom and then you'll see exactly what it is you're looking for. So let's go ahead and click A. And then we're going to click delete title. It's going to ask you if you want to delete the selected title. Go ahead and commit. And then we can go ahead and we can exit out of FBI. Now let's go into our system settings. And here we're going to go into other settings. We're going to go all the way to the right and we're going to hit system update. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and accept. Go ahead and click OK again and just let this update. Even if you're on the latest firmware, it's just going to run a quick update and it's going to reboot the system. Now, 
Now let's just double check and make sure that everything's working properly. We're going to go into system settings. And let's go into internet settings and Nintendo DS connections and click OK. And this is a screen where you should see. If you see this screen, then we've set everything back to the way it should be. And our custom firmware is installed and ready to go. And we don't have to worry about running that Japanese version of Flipno and potentially accidently running Boot 9 Strap again. And that'll do it for this video. I just wanted to make sure that I addressed this. So that way you could still utilize my tutorial on how to install custom firmware on a 2DS or 3DS system. But we wanted to make sure that we just get these DS connection settings back to normal. So that we could continue to get the most out of our systems. Again, shout out to Nintendmic.3DSX for bringing this to my attention. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Retro Handhelds Discord. Head in there, show him some love, and join an awesome community in the process. I'm also going to share a link in the description to my own Discord. Please join now that we're almost to 200 subs. I'd like to really get a community going on these devices. And if anybody else knows how to run and work devices like this, I will happily give you the support role in that Discord so you can help others. Thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful to you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until the next one, bye for now, and don't stop believing.